Even though that dog is in stable condition, we know that police canines have very tough jobs. One canine handler tells our Lauren Edwards that they are considered officers just like them. Police dogs, as cute and as cuddly as they are, when you see them out on the field, they're at work. And sometimes work can unfortunately get intense. But police say they appreciate everything they do. I to play with a dog every day, so you can't uh, beat that. Trooper Bozek says working with four-year-old German Shepherd mix Jager makes his job quite special. Every search I go on, my dog will run right up to the people and they lean right in. They get to know who, who the friends are, who the foes are. Something they're trained to do, he says, because they've got busy jobs. So far today in 2021, we've run over 4,000 calls. Um, that's tracking suspects, looking for evidence, uh, looking for missing kids, uh, explosive sweeps, narcotic searches. No. <laughs> and they can smell anything that police train them to. We do shell casing searches at shootings. Um, we have arson dogs that look for accelerants. We have uh, cyber dogs that look for electronic devices on uh, like child abusive material cases. But sometimes the jobs get dangerous. Monday night, a canine with the Van Buren County Sheriff's Office was stabbed during a deputy involved shooting, which Trooper Bozek says may have saved the officers' yeah. lives. It's unfortunate what happened. Um, but that's what the dogs are trained to do, and that's what we spend hours and hours training the dogs to do, um, and they, they love their jobs. Situations like that, Trooper Bozek says, shows just how invaluable canines are to law enforcement. I'm with my, my dog more than I am with my family, which is unfortunate, but it's a, like I said, it's a valuable tool, and uh, you can't replace it. You can't replace a dog with anything. In Walker, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News.